We're slipping out of the title race just a little bit. We're maintaining that top four position as we go into the busy Christmas period of December. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 5 of season 3, Life After Lasso. We're into the busy Christmas period, there's a lot of games to be played, with that brings quite a number of goals as well. So we're not going to mess around, we're just going to get stuck in and have a look at the goals straight away. So as we can see here, the first game in December was a nil nil draw with Southampton, we can skip past that, nothing happened. Not very exciting, um, quite a horrible game to play. If if truth be told um, but we run, we go on then to the second game of the month with our final group game in the Champions League we have that 5-0 victory um, at home to Glasgow Rangers as we can see the goals coming here pressure on the defence Coburn makes a block Dahlberg Dahlberg gets in Keeper fumbles it and uh, Coburn scores his first of the game ball comes here to Awar from edge of the box uh, I forgot his name there. <laughs> Drills in the bottom corner. As you can see, Awar involved again here. Lode a great ball forward and Coburn on the volley. Makes it 4-0 uh, uh, before the half time. See Coburn plays it in the scuff. Plays the ball forward to Dawkins. Back to Bilberg. Absolutely thunders it from the edge of the area. In off the crossbar. Uh, that actually makes it 4-0. My apologies. Uh, you can see ball forward here to Coburn. In and around the keeper. And that's him. That's his hat trick. That's his first hat trick of the season. Um, having played very few games up to that, he was getting a little bit anxious that he wasn't going to play much more. Um, we give Jamie Tart and uh, Danny Rojas a rest, and Coburn, and uh, as you see, Dolberg there responded magnificently. We go into our third game of the month. Um, we are playing away again. Uh, this time against Stoke, as we can see here. We're playing in our uh, change kit of our, our third kit. Ball played into Dolberg, goes around the goalkeeper, puts it in the back of the net. Easy. Ball forward from Goodman, who's played a few more games recently. Touch them from Dawkins to Jamie Tart. It's all happening so fast, I can't even catch up. I don't even remember playing this a couple of days ago. Renato brings the ball forward into Dolberg, plays it to Thomas Lamar, squares the ball. Jamie Tart's there. Um, I think that was 3 0 at that stage. And then at the end, uh, I think it's that Pabe Matarsar, I think. Um, sorry, Nabisar. Gets a late consolation for Stoke. So we came away with that game with a 3-1 victory. We then go into our next match against Aston Villa. No point in showing you goals. We didn't score. No point in showing you goals in that. Um, we're only interested in seeing our goals. Um, because that's we're just being selfish like that. Um, as you can see here, Thomas Lamar has scored two, made two assists and has ten uh, key passes in the game as well. Um, so this is against Everton. Uh, great header from Holgate. I mean, he's unmarked. He really, he really should have done better. Corner in from Lamar. Jamie Tart rises highest. Puts it in the back of the net. Ball comes here to Calvert Lewin. Ball goes forward into Richardson from distance. I mean, those are three great goals already. Um, just inside the box. Corner in from Lamar again. Tommy Winchester's up this time. Wins the header at the near post. Ball in from Tart and the Rojas plays it forward. Jamie Tart keeps making that run. Goes around the goalkeeper from the narrowest of angles. Puts it in the back of the net. Gives us a 3 2 victory, as you can see there, in the 69th minute. So we have 20 minutes left to play in that game. We managed to hold on and get the victory. Uh, next game, then, uh, quite surprisingly, uh, a 4 1 victory against Man United. We're a little bit worried because Jamie Tart and Danny Rojas were both recommended for uh, rest periods. We played uh, Hume and Son and uh, Declan Coburn up front to begin with. Um, as we can see here, we're coming out with a full one victory. Ball comes from Scott, back to Dest, plays to Shannon, all needs the box, flicks it back to McAdoo, and McAdoo just puts it in the top corner. Like this fella, uh, as we can see here, United playing with the ball around the back, quickly intercepted by Scott. Per clearance, really, from the keeper. And Dolberg actually apologies that Stein up front. Puts it in the back of the net. Uh, ball on the Scott again, plays the Shannon, plays it through to him and some. And that's three against playing out. Uh, into the second half, we can see here, some picks up a loose ball from the corner, back to Scott, gets a turn, flicks it back, and Hume and again. 
scoring to make it four. United with a late consolation here, long ball forward from Sancho. In the area, Yemi, who we all know is a good player, um, and from uh, what's that about 23 24 yards out, just lobs it over the goalkeeper as if he wasn't even standing there. So, a little bit disappointed they can see the goal in that manner. Um, but uh, it's a fantastic result, it's 4 1 away to Man United. We go into our last game of the month, uh, against Arsenal. Um, we're just about to play it now. Having a quick look at the team, the only concern we have here is, um, Declan Coburn's carrying a little bit of a knock. We're going to keep with uh, the two up front. Danny Rojas still needs a rest. Maybe we could bring him back in. We'll, we'll bring him back in for Con Hughes. Um, Thomas Lamar. Do you know what? We'll bring Jamie Tart in for... No, we'll keep Thomas Lamar in. Uh, we'll keep the same back four as it was. Uh, Obisanya is not yet ready to come back from injury. We've brought a couple of guys back from loan um, because we are about to lose... Uh, Renan Lodi, Renan Lodi wants to leave, uh, it's fine, I mean he's been a, a, a solid player for us in the, the two and a half years so far, um, we would definitely like to keep him, I don't think, it, it, I mean he wants to win a league title, and as well as what we're playing, Man City and Liverpool, as we all know, playing football manager, are just that little bit of head in these early seasons, um, so off here against the oh, Anthony Pierce off the line, uh, ball forward from oh, the Smith the and it's headed over. I'm not sure who put their head on that. Um, but we're playing against Arsenal. Uh, we're, we're at home. Um, I think we've got a relatively decent record against Arsenal. See, McAdoo brings the ball in the midfield. Shannon back to Winchester, back to McAdoo. Just recycling the ball around midfield. Dest plays it forward to Dahlberg. Scott makes a run. Shannon continues through the midfield. Plays a great ball forward to Hume and Son. Puts it over the bar quite dramatically and very very poorly Arsenal bring the ball forward goes back to Ramsdale hits it long up a little bit aimless there Winchester with another aimless long pass uh, and Dolberg absolutely gifted the ball from Ramsdale that, that's the high press prevent keeper distribution prevent long distribution from the goalkeeper has worked really well for us here so it has we see Saka must be playing at left back Ramsdale I mean, I'm not even sure what he's trying to do there. It's it's, it's almost like he's trying to pass it to Dolberg. Dolberg gratefully receives, and uh, it's one 0 So absolutely delighted with that. And see there that Arsenal have signed Declan Rice. I assume that's Declan Rice, and Rice is playing him a field. This is off. I'm not sure what that's for. I need a replay. It's giving a penalty. I really don't know what for because nothing happened near the ball. It's going to score. Unless Thierry can save us. Jesus. It's a good penalty. Julian Alvarez. One of the superstars that we're all aware of um, is at Arsenal. This is before he would have signed for Man City in real life. And he's just, he's absolutely drilled it down the line. And I really feel like Zorro could have done better there. Uh, we've shared a little encouragement for them. Uh, we're, we're at home. It's one all against Arsenal. We're, we're doing okay. They have a corner ball from Alvarez. Absolutely drilled it across the goal. And Romagnoli coming up from the back. That's disappointing. Um, I feel like my encourage shot was maybe a little... I mean, he's getting up there above is that Son. He's getting above McAdoo. He's getting above Winchester. I really feel like we should have handled that better. But uh, it's 2-1 the Arsenal. Um, our, our gift of a goal early on was a little bit too much. And absolutely carving his open there through the midfield. And Emile smith throw going all the way. Unlucky to put it wide. Um, we really got to do better here, boys. Uh, let's demand some more. Uh, we can see there Declan Rice. Yes, Declan Rice is captain at Arsenal. So he is. Um, they also have Divock Origi playing in there as well. Um, Tommy Asu, Roman Yoli. The Congo playing, Des brings the ball forward into Scott, plays it wide the human son, whatever guts, puts it back to Thomas Lamar, can he get a cross on, goes back to Son, and the Scott, shots blocked Shannon, shots blocked as well. It's a couple of good blocks there, has to be said. That's surely our through one. We don't know because we don't get a highlight. It's fine, it's fine, we move on. Uh, coming up to half time, 2-1 down, home the Arsenal, um, thrash arms, you've been terrible, sort it out. Now you bring in the two uses. 
Um, Thomas Lamar is not playing well at all, so he is immediately hooked. Uh, we'll bring Solly in on the left. Off the ball. Danny Rass is the striker in form, so we'll bring him in up front. A breakthrough. Although he was, he needed an extended rest. We we'll give him one game. Jimmy Tarkin we needed one game. Um, Thomas Moore playing two key passes during that game. Uh, let me break somehow. the guys a little bit, actually. So we need to be doing better than this. Who's not playing well at the back? Goodman's not playing well. Here comes another cross. The Just like that. I mean, Alvarez is. Kind of jumped him. Alvarez is not a big guy. Let's see. That. I mean, Dest should have won that header. Origi gets wide. Whoops it on. And Alvarez, he's, he's got the run on him. He's got the run on Goodman. Awar's not playing well. Can we bring him out? Bring in Kukoc in there. They bring Renan Lodi in. I can't bring him in because he's not on the bench. Uh, Danny Rojas is now not playing well. Neither is human son. We bring Kulazewski in on the right. And swap Scott out to the left. Let's see if that does us any good. Probably not. You would expect, but... We'll certainly we'll give it a go. <coughs> Alright. <coughs> Alright. The ball. Shannon, what do you got? Let me, let's get a ball on. Danny Rojas is there and it's on! Get on! It's gonna be offside. Please don't be offside. Yes, it's given. We can get back into this, boys. Looking sharp there. Fire up. Good ball here from Shannon. Only Has Danny Rojas. He just, he just gets that yard. He's got that extra yard on the defender. I'm not sure if it was Saliba or Romagnoli there. Uh, let's see the offside line. Let's see. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. No doubt. Uh, so we'll fire them up. Let's see if we can. Uh... <gasps> Danny's injured. Damn it. This is not what I need right now. Let's change this from positive to very attacking. Let's go for it. Scott with a free kick. And, oh, whoa, and he went for it. Ooh, he went for it. But it was too wide. Um, that's, we're, we're, we're losing, boys. We're 3 2 to Arsenal. I'm, I'm disappointed in that. I really feel like we should. We had 20 shots, 6 on target. They had five. Our XG was better. Should have won that. Disappointing. Uh, but that is it for the month of December. We go into Christmas and New Year. Daniel has is out for four weeks. Leave him to the physio. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So there we have it, end of December, uh, finished with a 3-2 defeat to Arsenal, which we are not happy about one bit. Um, we have a little bit of a mixed run of form here, we started out so well, we have a few defeats, a few draws thrown in. We need to pick it up in the second half of the season, we need to, we need to start performing. We did draw against Bayern Munich in the Champions League first knockout round. <laughs> So it's not enough that we played Real Madrid and Juventus. We now have Bayern Munich to play as well, um, but it's fine. We'll we'll just we'll we'll give it a go. We'd love to win the Champions League this year, but that's not going to happen with all these obstacles to keep us in the way. Uh, but that is it for December. Uh, we will move into January in episode six, and we will see how we get on uh, at the start of the year. We also have the FA Cup draw still to come as well so we'll see how we get on with that um as always please do uh like share and subscribe all the usual things we would love to hear your feedback as well uh, subscribing to the channel helps us to grow helps us to bring you more content like this helps us to bring you more videos of other content in the near future we would massively appreciate it please and thank you um but that is it from us uh we will see you in the next one and have a good evening take care yeah.